Here is a quick video to show you how to make a nameplate. And click that rectangle tool over there, and we're going to turn this into a 10 by 3, 10 inch by 3 inch rectangle. Just to make it look a little bit nicer, I am going to round the corners. Maybe just like 0.2 inches. That just softens the edge so when it cuts out the metal, it won't be sharp over there. Next, we are ready to go ahead and drop your name in here or something. You can click the font detective up here, this blue F, so you can see what the font's going to look like. I'm just going to leave it as is. Probably should spell my name right. I'm going to drag it in there relatively close. I'm going to click Alt S on the keyboard. That is for show fill. You can also go up here to view show fill and toggle that on and off. Now I'm going to make this relatively large so it'll fit in here and fill this in fairly good. Make sure you're happy with the way it looks. Now I'm dragging a selection box around the whole thing and I'm clicking C and then E on the keyboard. My next step would be to click my name inside there, make sure that's the only part that's selected. Text to graphics. Then I'm going to go arrange, sorry, layout, group, or control G. So that way when you click one, they're not separate. Now I'm going to go back to view, show fill again so you can see what's happening here. Dragging a selection box around the whole thing or control A for select all. Arrange, make path. Now you should have seen the letters fall out of there. Notice the middle of this E would fall out, the middle of this A would fall out. So we need to do just a couple more things real quick. I'm going to go get the rectangle tool again. I'm just going to make a little rectangle over here. You want it to be at least 0.125 or an eighth of an inch wide for it to work well. I'm going to drag it into place over here and then just kind of move out of the way and decide where I like that. You can use the arrows on the keyboard for minute measurements. I'm going to click that one again and I'm going to go control D. That's duplicate in this program. I'm going to move it in fairly close to where I want it on the A. I'm going to grab this middle bar up top if I can get a hold of it. There we go. And start dragging it down into place. Zoom back out here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to use the keyboard and just slide it over just a little bit. I think that will look pretty good when that cuts out. Now I need to select this whole thing again and I need to go over here to the weld tools, these two circles and this first weld. Now notice when you click on it, you should see it all as one object. I hope that helps you out and figuring out how